Checking for understanding. How do you know if somebody gets your meaning? Sometimes you can tell by their body language or the expression on their face. For example, people might look confused if they don't understand you. Or they might nod in agreement or smile. Also, they could respond with the expression you're expecting from them. For example, excitement, sadness, disgust, encouragement, etc. For example, I won the lottery. That's great. My dog died. That's too bad. However, body language is not always obvious or easy to understand. There are a number of phrases you can use to see if people understand you or not. Let's check them out. Number one, do you know what I mean? Or, know what I mean? That's the shorter version. This is often used when you want to see if someone understands and can relate to your experience. Two, are you following me? This one is used when you're explaining something that takes a long time. You might break or pause the explanation and ask this. A related expression would be three. Are you with me? Or are you with me so far? Four. Do you understand? Or simply understand? Be careful with this one. It can sound a bit insulting like you might be too stupid to understand this. To avoid being rude, try to be sympathetic and don't talk down to the other person. And use it mainly when you see someone is having a hard time understanding you. 5. Have you got it? Or simply, got it? This one is more informal and a good one to use for quick checks. 6. Do you have any questions? Or, any questions? Good all-around way to check for understanding. Can be used in formal or informal situations. Uh, use the long form for major presentations. Do you have any questions? 7. Okay? This is a very quick way of making sure the other person understands. It is often used as a final check before someone starts something. Okay, let's check to see if you got it. What would you say in these situations? Number one, you are explaining a long, drawn-out process for using computer software. Halfway through, you pause and want to be sure your listener understands. What do you say? A. Do you know what I mean? B. Are you with me so far? C. Do you understand? What's the best answer? The best answer is B. Are you with me so far? You're kind of in the middle of the explanation, so you want to check if they're with you to this point. Situation 2. You just gave a presentation and want to check if your audience understood your main points. What do you say? A. Any questions? B. Understand? C. Are you with me? What's the best answer? The best answer is A. Any questions? Or, for more formal presentations, you might want to say, Do you have any questions? Situation 3. You just explained to someone how to do a particular exercise. What do you say? A. Got it? B. Okay? C. Either A or B. What's the best answer? The best answer is C, either A or B. 
If I had to choose one, I would probably choose A. Got it? Sometimes B, okay, just means are you ready? But it can also mean, do you understand? Situation four. You're talking about your experience and want to know if the other person understands and can relate. What do you say? A. Are you following me? B. Do you understand me? C. Do you know what I mean? What's the best answer? The best answer is C. Do you know what I mean? Situation 5. You're explaining a very complex concept that most people don't understand the first time they hear it. Some of your listeners look confused. What do you say? A. Are you following me? B. Do you understand? C. Do you have any questions? What's the best answer? Actually, all of these answers are fine. If I had to choose one, I might say, understand or do you understand? Because it's a complex situation and you are checking to see if they understand. To be a little bit more informal, you can take off the first word or first couple of words here. For example, you could say, you following me? Or, understand? Or, any questions? Hope that was helpful. Please remember to subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Okay? Thanks for watching. Any questions? Please write them in the comments section below or submit them through our website, eslgold.com slash Submit question. This video was brought to you by the following English learning websites.